Just a few short months ago, Canes fans were expecting to celebrate the team's second Stanley Cup, but the team fell short painfully against the Florida Panthers. However, a new season unofficially began today with training camp. WRL's Pat Welter introduces us to the new but same team. If it ain't broke, just smooth out the edges with some sandpaper. The Canes running it back in 2023 with the stars you know. You know, that's the only one practice we've done so far, but it looked pretty good, right? We have a really good, really uh, talented crew. And some key additions. I've been here since Hogwarts first, you know, I find the house quick, you know, so it's good. Defenseman Dmitry Orlov was the blockbuster signing in free agency. But forwards Brendan Lemieux and Michael Bunting will add toughness and grit. I, I like playing on the edge. I bring that every single night, and I plan on continuing doing that. Andrei Svechnikov in the yellow non-contact jersey coming off a torn ACL. He hopes to be ready for the start of the season, but no return date is set. Hold the hockey going to start in the playoffs, so we'll see. I got some time here, and, and I know that. Everyone told me that, so there is no rush, but uh, if I will be ready for game one, I will stand with the play. It's a new year and a new team, but the same Stanley Cup expectations. We can't win the Stanley Cup today. So it's about a process, as you know, and, and we just kind of try to get better every day. It's boring as it sounds. That's really how you have to approach it. One thing we learned over the offseason is that Carolina has become a destination. Not only are the stars staying and the free agents signing, players are coming back. Tony D'Angelo returns after one season in Philly. He told me as soon as he could over the summer, he texted Rod Brennamore. Now that he's back, he feels like he never left.